Hello everyone. I am Babu Sagar, your chemistry mentor. In this class, I am going to explain preparation of alkanes. Preparation of alkanes from alkanes halides unsaturated hydrocarbons from carboxylic acids so very firstly preparation of alkanes from alkyl halides so how you are going to prepare from the alkyl halides see what are alkyl halides in my previous video i explained about the alkyl group alkyl group means when you remove alkyl group means when you remove one hydrogen atom from alkanes for example see you have ch4 from this if you remove one hydrogen then it will become ch3 so what is this ch3 it is called as a methyl it is also called as a alkyl group otherwise methyl so this ch4 is a methane from methane you have removed one hydrogen so that what happen this will come converted into methyl group that means from the alkanes if you remove hydrogen atom then it will become alkyl group so what is alkyl halides alkyl halides means when alkyl group is attached with the halogen atoms that is called as a alkyl halides for example see this example only i will take methane is there and if you are reacting this methane with chlorine then what it is going to form it will be ch3cl okay plus hcl this we don't want so this we are talking about ch3cl so ch3 means solid i said methyl and cl means chloride what is the name of that ch3cl methyl chloride so in this what you are going to do we are going to prepare alkanes from alkyl halides means we are going to take this type of compounds and we are going to prepare the alkanes clear so what is going to happen when we take the alkyl halides alkyl halides and except here in the ha halides halogen groups you can take x is equal to you can take chlorine you can take bromine you can take and iodine you can take not fluorides okay so alkyl halides when you take the alkyl halide for example previous one only i will take ch3cl is there and we have to do reduction in presence of zinc okay we have to do the reduction in presence of zinc you know that what is reduction addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen so what we are going to do here we are going to add hydrogen okay we are going to add here hydrogen then what it is going to happen we already know here one hydrogen we have removed then only it become alkyl group for this one hydrogen if you add then it will become again alkanes clear so in presence of zinc and dilute hcl this is the condition if you want to prepare alkanes from alkyl halides preparation of alkanes from alkyl halides what are the condition you have to take you have to take alkyl halides in and we have to do reduction in presence of zinc in hcl clear so what it is going to form this hydrogen will be going over there and it will form ch4 that is alkane and hcl will be removed clear so this is something about the preparation of alkyl halides this is something about the preparation of alkanes from alkyl halides okay one more example i will take that is uh, ethane i will take and I, uh, chloroethane i will take and i will explain like uh, c2 h5 cl clear for this also what you are going to do you are going to do reduction in presence of zn and hcl dilute hcl you are going to maintain so what is going to happen one h it will be going over there it will become c2 h6 plus hcl so ethane clear children so you can take a, a propane okay one example i will take propane also clear so you can take c h3 ch2 ch2 uh, br this is a, a bromopropane okay from the bromopropane you have to uh, prepare propane so how you are going to do see same condition you have to write zn hcl so what it is going to happen one half the uh, and h2 here 
okay so one hydrogen it is going to here and one hydrogen will come along with the bromine so what it is going to happen ch3 ch2 ch3 so this is a propane plus hbr clear like this you can take many other examples and you can do clear i hope you understand the preparation of alkanes from alkyl halides clear so moving to the preparation of alkanes from unsaturated hydrocarbons so second one is preparation of alkanes from unsaturated hydrocarbons clear from unsaturated hydrocarbon that means alkenes and alkynes from alkenes and alkynes so first we will prepare from alkenes second later we will prepare from the alkynes clear so what we are going to do when we are taking the alkenes you know already alkenes means for example it will be have containing double bond clear so what you have to do we need to convert it into single bond clear what you have to do we need to do like a single bond for that purpose what you have to do we need to break this bond and we are going to make it as a single bond why are how you are going to do by adding hydrogen to this okay so that is what hydrogenation what you are going to do addition of hydrogen to this so that is reduction also you can say clear so reduction of this alkenes will takes place easily no in order to do that what you have to do we need to add either a catalyst some catalyst like platinum nickel yeah palladium as a catalyst if you do then what it is going to happen this addition of hydrogen will be takes place to this carbon atom and double bond will get break clear so see this type of compound you are going to get what is this this is a ethane and this is ethane from ethene to ethane we have prepared clear based on this you can take many other examples one more example i will take from the alkenes like if i am taking uh, propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 in presence of uh, plus h2 okay in presence of platinum you can take nickel ya yeah, palladium any of the catalyst you can take so what it is going to happen one hydrogen will go here so this double bond will get break clear so one of the hydrogen will go here so see from propene to propane it is going to take place see ch3 ch2 ch3 will convert so what is this propane clear so now by knowing this same thing we are going to apply for the by knowing this same thing we are going to apply for the alkyne we are going to take alkyne and doing same thing oh, for example the first member of alkyne is c triple bond c okay this is a ethyne for this how many hydrogen you need to add previously here double bond was there and ch2 ch2 was there so how many uh, uh, how many hydrogen you have given here two so here how much you have to do see here it if you break this pi bond that double bond like single bond is going to remaining that means two two hydrogen is required so two moles of hydrogen gas you are going to give so then what it is going to happen see so two hydrogen will come here two hydrogen will come here so total four hydrogen is there here so it will get converted into ch3 single bond ch3 ethane to ethane clear one more example you can take that is propane you can take ch3 c triple bond ch okay so here also you have to add 2h2 so that what it is going to happen so same here also you need to write either platinum ya nickel ya palladium as a catalyst you can write so here 2h2 is there so here 2 will come here 2 will come so like you can write ch3 ch2 ch3 so what is this propane from propane what you have prepared propane clear children so this is the preparation from unsaturated hydrocarbons so based on this you can uh, practice uh, many more examples clear so last preparation that is from carboxylic acids clear so by taking the carboxylic acid how you are going to prepare the alkanes clear so by taking carboxylic acid we can prepare alkanes in two uh, two uh, different ways clear so first one is decarboxylation this method first method is called as a decarboxylation in 
the decarboxylation what we are going to do we are going to take the salt of carboxylic acid and heating with the soda lime see very firstly you should know how to prepare the salt of carboxylic acid see if you are taking any of the acid that is ch3coh you have taken and if you heat with the sodium metal what it is going to happen it will be converted into ch3coona okay so two here also two so it will be 2 ch3 co o n a plus h2 will be coming out so what is this children this is salt of uh, sodium salt of carboxylic acid okay it is also called as a sodium uh, ethanoate also you can say otherwise sodium acetate you can say sodium ethanoate you can say clear so when these salt uh, sodium salt of carboxylic acid it is there that you can take ch3 co o n a and you have to react this with the soda lime soda lime means what soda lime means mixture of sodium hydroxide mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide if you do reaction with this then what it is going to happen when you are going to heat so it will be convert this uh, sodium salt of carboxylic acid into alkane okay ch3 this hydrogen will go here so it will get converted into ch4 and this coo and Na is there, here also one NaO is there, sodium oxide is there here. So, this Na2, see the children, products see, Na2, COO is there, here one O is there, that is CO3, sodium carbonate it is going to produce. So, what is this product? It is a alkane, okay. So, this is something about the reaction. In this reaction, uh, carbon dioxide will be coming out, okay, see here. Here carbon dioxide is going to be coming out. So that is called as a decarboxylation. Why we can say decarboxylation? Because in this reaction carbon dioxide is going to come out. Clear? So one more method I said already that is uh, by using the sodium salt of carboxylic acid only we are going to prepare. So this method, method is also called as a coal based electrolytic method. Coal based electrolytic method. So I hope you, you know already electrolysis what we are going to do. Here we are going to take one electrolyte aqueous solution of electrolyte we are going to take and there will be one anode and one cathode. So very firstly in the coal based electrolytic method what you are going to do an aqueous solution of sodium salt or potassium salt of carboxylic acid you are going to take. So I already told you how to write the sodium salt or potassium salt. So uh, let me take a so, potassium salt of carboxylic acid that is CH3COO minus K plus. Okay I have taken potassium salt of carboxylic acid and uh, it is a, a aqueous solution so 2H2O. Then what it is going to happen children it will be converted into uh, CH3, CH3, what is this? It is a ethane, it is ethane, okay. So what are the things it is going to come along with this? See here, uh, 2 CH3CO minus is there, so you can write 2 CO2, one more product. So this is the major product, see these are the one, one more product. Then uh, you can see here uh, H2O is there, clear. H2O is there, 2H2O and potassium is there, 2K. So you can write that uh, 2KOH, okay. And also one more product will come from the H2O. You can write this split and you can write H plus OH minus. Na. So this K plus and OH minus converted into KOH and remaining is H2. See, this four product is going to come. Clear children? So in order to understand its mechanism, we will move to the mechanism. In the mechanism children, how what is going to happen, see very firstly we are going to take the so, uh, potassium salt of carboxylic acid that is CH3COOK, okay. So this will be converted into 2CH3C double bond O, O minus plus 2K plus, like this it will get converted, it will be ionized in water clear so this is in the first step in the second step what is what is going to happen children in the second step this that means in a, at anode at anode what is going to happen this ch3 coo minus is then that is acetate ion you can say this acetate ion acetate ion we get uh, converted into free radicals you know that how it is going to get converted into free radical so that i will tell you now have a look here 
टू सी हेच थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ओ माइनस इज देर सो हियर टू इज देर ना सो हियर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज देर ऑन ऑक्सीजन सो टू मोल्स इट इज देर सो टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज गोइंग टू you have to remove two electrons so when you remove the two electrons what it is going to happen it will get converted into free radical see how you are going to write 2 ch3 c double bond o o previously only four valence electrons are there now by uh, removing two electrons one more free radical will be there okay so on and rearranging this one how what it is going to happen to this see it can be written as 2 CH3 free radical plus carbon dioxide is going to be liberated clear so now what you are going to do now this CH3 free radical you can rearrange how you can rearrange either you can take 2 CH3 free radical or you can write CH3 free radical plus CH3 free radical you can take and this will be converted into CH3 single bond CH3 what is this ethane our product we got this is our product clear children so now final step what it is going to happen at cathode at cathode what is going to happen this is this thing takes place in the anode okay at cathode the water is then this water will gain the electron this electron okay it will gain the electron and it will be converted into oh minus plus h free radical okay so this h free radical combined with another h free radical it will be converting into h2 clear children so now what is the remaining thing is there just look here i will write here see if you write 2h2o here 2 electron 2oh minus 2h and here balanced so here 2oh minus is there na this 2oh minus combines with this 2k plus clear 2k plus and it will be converted into 2koh clear children what is our reaction general reaction i will be writing here children so you will be understanding properly 2ch3 coo minus k plus plus h2o you have added okay what you have taken h2o you have taken then what it is going to happen it is converted ch3 ch3 that is ethane ethane and 2 co2 plus h2o and 2 koh so these are the product so one by one i will show you now what are the product how they come see ch3 single bond ch3 that is ethane you can see here ethane and uh, carbon dioxide you can see here and one uh, two more products one is hydrogen here and potassium hydroxide is here so if you want you can take the screenshot and you can understand so i hope children you have understood all the three methods of preparation of alkanes from unsaturated hydrocarbons from alkyl halides and from carboxylic acids so practice this children so by taking more examples you can practice okay here i have used potassium salt of carboxylic acid you can take sodium salt of carboxylic acid and you can use different different compounds clear so i hope you understood these things so in the next video i will come up with the new concept until then keep practicing keep learning and those who are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notification of all my videos thank you